Yes, um, absolutely frightened. Um, I was frightened that I wouldn't be able to understand it, and uh, I had uh, anxiety attacks uh, about how to deal with that. And uh, my wife had told me, "Look, keep calm. Everything will not come to you right away. It will take time." And since then, um, I've actually um, done emails, uh, which I'm actually I think I'm quite good at doing now. But it did take a bit of time for me to do it. But once you learn, um, what I found is you want to know more. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I find with the IT group. Mm -hmm. um, I've also done Skype. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter was on a, an island away the other side of the world. And she came across clear. And I could see pictures of over. So we had a conversation. Uh, with her, which I found really exciting to, to, to be able to do. And I've also done um, um, Twitter. Twitter. Um, uh, that took me a, a bit of time, but now I, um, I, I fully understand what I need to do with that. And it, it's good, but we are, we are fortunate. We've got good people who can teach us that. And I think... Uh, from my point of view, the staff don't get enough recognition uh, with that. And uh, as a group, um, there's I think there's eight to ten of us, and we're still do we're still together just now, and uh, it's, it looks very uh, exciting in the years to come. Mm -hmm. But you are, Joe. What's your experience with your iPad? My experience with my iPad was similar to. Henry's when I first got it, the first thing I shouted was, Susan, what do I do with this? And she came through and uh, helped me to actually plug the thing in and, and, and get started. As for emails and Twitter and everything else, I'm not as, not as advanced as uh, Henry. I'm just actually scraping the surface at the present moment. I find it quite difficult to actually be on that pad and type in what I've got to do with the message I'm sending. Because having a dyslexia problem, it's a case of one finger, dot, 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 all the time. And then I look up at the screen and it's absolute gibberish. I've got to actually start again. But that's how I find the iPad. But now that I'm getting more au fait with it and I've now got speech re recognition I can talk to it and it brings the typeface up but it doesn't work all the time because it's American based mm -hmm. and if I talk like this to it, it doesn't understand me at all because we just can't do it the, the, the Americans don't talk like that and that's what, the, what, what my problem is I'm waiting on a pro, uh, an app is that the right word? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. An app coming out, which is for Scottish people. But that's about me, as, uh, as far as the, as far as iPad goes. What I found about the emails and it's instant, whereas you were actually writing a letter or phone calls and people went in and you can leave messages on your emails. Further afield, yes. As you know, I've, I've, I've uh, FaceTimed in from Spain mm -hmm. to the to the committee. Unfortunately, it broke down after 30 seconds, but there you are. That doesn't, that's not, we got there, we actually did it. And everywhere I go now, I haven't done it from Brussels yet, but there's a facility there where I can do it from Brussels. Mm -hmm. And I will do it from the, the, I think we have a meeting every three weeks in Brussels, that I'm going to do one from the meeting in Brussels if it coincides with the meetings here. Mm -hmm. Because it will be good for the people in Brussels for to know that this is what the Scottish Dementia Group is doing. Mm -hmm. We're spreading it, we're spreading, we're letting ourselves, not letting ourselves, yeah, we're making sure that people outside our group 
and knows that we're there and that we are accessible and we can actually talk to each other. That's about it.